and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to slice text. I've already done a similar tutorial but I always ran into a problem that I fixed so I thought I should do this video and show you the fix that saves you a lot of time. Let me create some text with the type tool. I click on it again with the cursor tool and rotate it. Now let me use the Bezier tool. Let's just say I want to slice it right here. So I'll create a shape that covers the bottom part. I'll give that a fill and no stroke. So I'll shift click on the X to get rid of the stroke. If I now select it all in my Inkscape version, I can't just use difference or division. It doesn't have an effect because the text is still a text and it's not really a vector. So what I always did is to go to object and then ungroup it and then select the letters individually. That's one way to slice it, but it takes a lot of time. I could get around that by simply selecting the text and then I go to path, object to path. So now it's a vector, I go to object, ungroup it, and then I make sure all the letters are selected. Then I go to path and union. And if I now select it all and go to path and use difference, we can cut all of the letters. Let me not use difference, instead I go to path and use division so that I have the bottom part as well. I hold shift and click on the top part to deselect it, then I press ctrl G and I've cut the bottom part as a group. I'll select the top part, ctrl G, it's the second group. Let me turn off the snapping and I'll reposition that. I turn on the snapping again and now I use the Vizier tool create this line. I want to drag that, I'll hold control. Let me give that different colors. And this way to do this slice effect is much quicker as we don't have to slice every single letter. So turn your text into a vector by going to path, object to path, then ungroup it and union it. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.